The 2023 MLS playoffs have just begun, and today we're going to be playing them out on FC24, but with a catch. Every game must go to penalties. But right here is the bracket for the MLS playoffs. We have the Western Conference teams on the left, the Eastern Conference teams on the right. Also, to make things a bit more interesting, every time you beat a team, you will get to steal their best player, and they'll be added to your club. Let's begin. So our first matchup is going to be between the best team in the West and the worst team in the West. Here are the penalty kick takers for both sides. I know I have a lot of European viewers watching. I don't think either of these teams have many notable players besides St. Louis who have Berkey in net. Let's begin. St. Louis is rocking the red. Sporting concedes the first goal, and they are rocking the light blue color. Both teams convert on their first bend. Fun fact, this is St. Louis's first season in MLS. That is our first save of the video. But yes, this is St. Louis's first uh, season in MLS, and they are the best team in the Western Conference. All right, it is 2-1 currently. St. Louis converts, but they have missed one. We got Russell for Sports in Kansas City converts. Could we see an upset in our very first game, man? The funny thing is, Sporting Kansas City, they're actually ranked higher. They have a better overall rating in FC 24 than St. Louis. Oh my God. It is gonna come down to this right here. If it's missed, Sports in go through. If it's made, it's safe. Oh. We have it upset in the very first game. Sporting celebrate in the eighth seed is moving on. So Sporting now get to steal a player from St. Louis. And it's got to be Roman Berkey, one of the highest overall goalkeepers in MLS. That is your first team to advance. Let's see who they will be playing in the Western Conference semifinal. So the Houston Dynamo are the four seed and they're taking on Real Salt Lake, the five seed in this next shootout. And before this next shootout begins, can I get all my MLS fans to leave a comment? down below tell me who you support and if you don't have an mls team to support support fc cincinnati because that's that's my club right our second to shootout hector herrera is on houston dynamo probably one of the better players in this game let's begin whoa what was that bro Velasco to start yeah bro this game's so broken right so this is a four versus a five seed is either could win right Velasco. Even though every team has a seed, everyone's pretty even. Oh my God, Herrera, that was insane. Next up, we have Real Salt Lake who score. Side of two, everyone's converting. MLS goalkeepers are, wow. They are terrible, aren't they? <laughs> right, the number 10 for Real Salt Lake who scores. Listen, I may follow MLS. I'm not even familiar with a ton of these players, man. I really only follow my club, Cincinnati. Another goal. Who will be the first to miss? Luna scores. Put it come down the fifth and final penalty here. Golasso. Okay. What are we saying? Rail Salt Lake. Step up and score. Bro, these keepers are terrible. Come on, man. Oh, we could be here a while. Escobar scores. Palacio steps up. <gasps> and it's safe. Oh my God. Shout out Steve Clark. What a save. Houston is advancing. And Houston are going to be stealing Arango from Rail Salt Lake their striker. And there you have it. The first semi-final Western Conference matchup will be between Sporting and Houston. Next up is the three-seed LAFC versus the six-seed Vancouver Whitecaps. A lot of big players on the field for this matchup. For LAFC, you got Carlos Vela. You got Chiellini. If you play career mode um, or also just watch MLS, Ryan Gald is a beast. All right, we got USA versus Canada. Here we go. First shot is a golazo. I would uh, honestly like to see the Canadian team Vancouver win this one. And they're starting out by missing a penalty. Great. All right, Carlos Vela, you know he's not missing. Yep, that's a banger. For some reason, I just, I always want LA teams to lose. I'm sorry if you're from LA. I just, I don't know. I like, I like when the smaller clubs win at the end of the day. Okay, right. It's not looking good for Vancouver, but LAFC are burying everything and saving everything. This is gonna be the quickest one yet. If they score this, it's over. And they, <laughs> he goes for the chip. LAFC have won. And LAFC are gonna be stealing Ryan Gald from Vancouver. Three seed has advanced. Let's find out who they'll be playing. Up next is the two seed Seattle Sounders versus the seven seed FC Dallas. Right, Seattle should be the better team, but looking at the stats, it's kind of even on both sides. Starting with Seattle taking the first penalty. I think they are one of the only teams in the entire tournament who has their home stadium in the game. Ferreira missed. He was by far their best penalty kick taker. Oh, God. It is over for FC Dallas. It's going to be over. They're going to miss this, too. Watch. Oh, my God. I called it. Ah, it's over. Whoa. This might be... Um, can we get a replay of that save? Bro just turned into this 
Spider-Man. What was that? Well, about like every now and then a goalkeeper just somehow jumps across the entire field to make a save. Okay, could they sneak back in? One more save here. Oh my God. We are gonna be level if this goes in. And it is. Wait, this is the craziest penalty shootout we've seen so far. Seattle converts. If FC Dallas score this, it continues. But if FC Dallas end up winning this, coming back from missing their first two penalty. Okay, wait, never mind. <laughs> FC Dallas come back for literally nothing. Where's their goalkeeper running to? Bro's just running across the entire field. <laughs> and Seattle are going to steal one of the best strikers at MLS, Jesus Ferreira. Right, the first games in the Western Conference have been played. It is time to move to the Eastern Conference, where we have my club, FC Cincinnati, up against the New York Red Bulls. Ooh, all right, boys, this is a big one. This is my team. This is, uh, this is my hometown. Cincinnati and it's funny because they're playing a New York Red Bull New York is the city that I live in now but let the record show I am not a New York sports fan at all the amount of sadness I will endure if we lose this there we go first goal scored New York Red Bull up next it's funny too we're so much better than the Red Bull in real life and in the game as well our ratings are a lot higher we got Brandon Vasquez he's a beast he scores in fact Brandon Vasquez I believe is going to be going to Mooching Gladbach at the end of the MLS season Junior Moreno for FC Cincinnati <laughs> Oh no, please. Oh God, we need a save here. What are we doing? What is going on? Arias, former Atletico Madrid player. Scores, come on. I need a save. Celentano in that. I need a save. We're actually gonna lose. All right, this is a guaranteed gold right here, at least. This is probably the uh, Emma MVP winner of MLS. Lutro Costa scores. Celentano. I need a penalty save here, bud. Please. Oh my God, Frankie and Maya. He used to play for us too. No! Me, man. Both of the number one seeds lose in the first round. And this pains me. The Red Bull will be stealing our best player, Lucho Acosta. That makes me so sad. The first team in the East has advanced, and uh, I don't even want to do the rest of this video. I was just hoping Cincinnati would win, and it would make me really happy, and now I'm just pissed. Up next, we got the four seed Philadelphia Union up against the five seed New England Revolution. Here are your penalty kick takers for our next two opponents. This one could really go either way. I mean, every game has been pretty evenly matched so far. What a save, man. Some of these keepers can get up. This is Andre Blake in net, though. Blake, you're supposed to be one of the best keepers in the league. What was that? Here we go. Philadelphia to take the next penalty scores. Arles Gill, one of the better players in MLS. Been around for a minute. And I'm jinxing. He's missed. <laughs> bueno, he scores. Couldn't really care less who wins this matchup. I'm not really a fan of it. You know what? Cincinnati's uh, lost, so I really don't care who wins or loses the rest of the video. We got Bedoya. With the Benenga. Philadelphia, usually a better team every year uh, over New England, at least. Nacho. Was that, was, it, was his name Nacho? Philly again. Philly scores. Andre Blake. I feel like he's about to save this. Never mind. Ariel. What a name, bro. That's a crazy name. He scores. 5 4. We're into sudden death penalties. Scores it. 5 5. We got Jacob Glesnes. Banger. Back to New England. It is Polster to make it 6-6. Six, six. What is that? Yo, these MLS keepers are so bad. All right, this is the longest shootout we've had so far. Another Golasso. At least one of these needs to come down to the goalkeepers. We're doing so many penalty shootouts today. Here we go. Philadelphia to make it 8-7. Neither team can miss. We got Buck. Scores. I should know we are playing on legendary difficulty. So these are the penalty kick takers, the goalkeepers are playing at the highest level. Gonzalez to make it 9-9, scores! We're going to goalkeepers, let's go! Andre Blake, scores! Some of these balls are being hit so slow. Where are the saves, man? It's honestly embarrassing for the... Bro, this is bad. Oh, this is not a good look for MLS. We got Gaz Dag up next, scores! Yo, this has gone on for too long. I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down. All right, come on. Speed it up. There we go. New England. Oh, my God! Back to the top <laughs> might just record like this the rest of the video this is a lot more comfortable gil 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 oh my god all right i'm back up bueno dude this one's got to be saved man at some point this is just getting ridiculous what's the longest penalty shootout of all time we might be close right, nacho gil here we go score oh my. there's been a total of uh to what to over how many penalties i don't even know because there's been a few that's been missed i think we're, we're almost up to 30 penalties in this game here comes jones Dive, man! The keepers are just standing there. Ariel. Oh, oh my god. If the goalkeepers go twice, I don't even know what I don't even know what I'm gonna say. That's a goal. Oh god. We're actually it's gonna come back to the goalkeepers again. 
Jacob. Oh, we finally have a save. Oh my God. Here we go. It's Polster. Okay, finally. Finally. After over 30 penalty kicks taken, New England has won. That took way too long. I'm sorry. And New England are going to steal Daniel Gazdag from the Philadelphia Union. Right, both those last games ended in upset, so we now have two more games to play in the first round. Into the next matchup, we got the three-seed Columbus against the six-seed Atlanta. All right, I am praying here that Columbus lose. The rival of FC Cincinnati. If they somehow win this whole video... <laughs> I might not even upload it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If they win, I'm going to upload it. But I'm, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, let's go. Come on. First shot is saved. Here we go. Tiago up. All right, this penalty shootout, the goalkeepers can actually make saves. Team Tiago Almada banged that first one in for Atlanta. Here's their second, Golasso. Shout out to the bald man that is Brad Guzan in net. An absolute legend goal. All right. All right. This has been a pretty good shootout so far. A lot of, like, good penalties and good saves. Darlington... Nagby, who scores. Saba is up next. I have no idea who that is, but he scored a good pen. Uh, MLS ball knowledge outside of like a few teams and a few players is really... Um, replay. Um, the kick save from Brad Guzan. That was crazy. What is this shootout, man? Okay. Goal. Wait, is that it? It's over. Hey, let's go. Columbus is out. Come on. I got to see that Brad Guzan save one more time. That was that was ridiculous. And Atlanta are going to steal Hernandez from Columbus crew. Lanner moving on, and it's time for the last matchup of the first round, which is going to be between the two seed Orlando City and the seven seed Nashville SC. And I kind of want Nashville to win this for the upset. And also, I love uh, Haney Mukhtar and Zimberman, two of like my favorite MLS players. So let's begin, shall we? First shot is in. So I believe the Western Conference, the two seed Seattle won. Let's see if uh, the two seed can win here. Good pen there before by uh, Mukhtar. Here is Pereira. Another good penalty. Oh my God, McCarthy, bro. Freaking, that hair is so red. <laughs> All right, we got Torres for Orlando. Finally a save. Okay, Nashville. Surridge here. Not Sturridge, it is Surridge. And they take the lead. McGuire, wait. Hey, everybody, nah. It can't be, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? A petition for Harry Maguire to join MLS at the end of his career. That'd be legendary. Oh my goodness. Are we going to be all tied up here? Wait, save that. What? Out of this goes in, we are all level and it is going to sudden death. This in. There we go, man. All right, we got another good shootout on our hand. Let's see how long this one will go. Zimmerman. Come on, man. Please put this in. Save in the two seed. Orlando are going through. Dramatic fashion. Which means Haney Mukhtar is joining Orlando. And the first round of the MLS playoffs are over so far remaining teams. We got Sporting, we got Houston, we got LAFC, Seattle Sounders, New England Revolution, we got the Red Bull, we got Orlando City. Atlanta. I'm going to make a prediction here on my teams that I think are going to win. You know what? For me, it's whoever wins the LAFC versus Seattle Sounder game. I think the winning team there goes on to win the whole competition. That's my prediction. Let's let the Western Conference semifinals begin. We have the four seed Houston versus the eight seed Sporting Kansas City. So both the stolen players are in the uh, starting 11s for both teams. I kind of want to see Sporting Kansas City here. I want to see how far the eight seed can go. Yeah, Sporting Kansas City, that goalkeeper is Roman Berkey, a brand new player. They stole from St. Louis and he concedes. Gutierrez is up first for Sporting, who scores. We have Arango, who is shooting. He was a stolen player. Oh my God, he missed. Oh, you got added to the team. Hey, you're gonna miss your first penalty. He's sabotaging it. Sporting Polito scores. Yo, Sporting is kind of cracked. Here we go. Herrera scores. All right, he's he's the best player on their team. We have Russell for Sporting. Bang. I think Sporting might go on to win that. They look really good. Goal, but I don't know. I don't think Sporting is gonna miss a single penalty. I think they're gonna go five for five. I'm just kidding. Right. Okay. Here we go. Houston. We're all we're all level right now. We're back. Pretty much nil-nil. Radoja. Bro, that's an awesome name. Sporting scores. Eight seed hanging in there. Escobar scores. You got to make this the stay in. Oh, my God. Barely. Next up for Houston. We're going to sudden death. Let the penalties keep rolling. Fontas. Oh, so close. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that dude's last name. That's a crazy last name, but he scores. Winner of this game goes to the Western Conference Finals. As a goal. Steres scores it. Wow, this one's another crazy sudden death match. Another goal. Nobody wants to lose this game. Michel or Michael. I don't know. How do you say that? Someone's got to miss. Someone's got to miss. And it's going to be Sporting. Oh, it's over. The hero goalkeeper 
Steve Clark. And you still get to steal the player the rest of the way out. So Polito is going to join Houston. So Houston is one game away from MLS Cup Final. And now it's time for the biggest matchup yet. We have the two-seed Seattle Sounders versus the three-seed LAFC. Oh, I'm ready for this one, man. So we have Ryan Gald who got stolen. He's on LAFC now. Jesus Prayer on Seattle. Whoever wins this game is going to get a big play. Here we go. Seattle up first. It is Ladero who scores. Moving on. LAFC. Luenga. Oh, my God. What a save. This is Jordan Morris. Save. Keepers coming up big in this one. Carlos Vela. Save. Yo, what is going on? Rui Diaz up next. Save. This has to be the most saves in a game. Ryan Gald. Scores. And it's all tied up with all of that being said, which is crazy this one feels like it could have been the final that's how big both of these clubs are another goal are we gonna go into sudden death again here's jesus ferreira oh my god nearly saved i want to see i kind of want to see seattle win this video i don't know why Oliveira shoots come on man you gotta save that this is uh roland up next two scores okay sudden death winner will play houston in the western conference final panenka how many penalties have we seen this video if someone can count up the amount of penalties that are taken in this entire video, I'll give you I'll give you a prize. Probably not, but just it'd be cool if someone did that. Alright, Chiellini. There's no way he's gonna pass, man. Oh no! Chiellini is the one who loses it for LAFC. And Seattle is moving on. So many good players for Seattle to steal, but it's gotta be Carlos Vela. The Western Conference is all set. Let's get our two contestants in the east so up next we got the five seed new england revolution against the eight seed the new york red bull i don't know who i want to win this man as much as like i do live in new york right now and i don't think i want new york to win man truth is i really just i don't like new york sports teams all right things are tied in one let the games continue here comes barlow scores let's gill winner of this goes to the eastern conference final that is a save and here comes the former fc cincinnati player acosta who scores you know what i i do want new york red bull to win just for acosta chan kakle what a name bro what a name who scores all red bull gotta do is make two more pens and it's over and they advance there's one here comes gill if this one's saved too it's over but it scored and it comes down to this New York are going through. The Red Bulls are advancing the eighth seed with an upset win. And the Red Bull are going to steal Daniel Gazdag. Absolutely mad that an eighth seed has made it this far. And up next is the two seed Orlando City versus the six seed Atlanta United. So Orlando is chilling there with Haney Mukhtar, who they stole in Atlanta. Who did they get? That's right. They took Carl Hernandez over there from Columbus Crew. The thing about this matchup right here is that... Haney Mukhtar, how are, how are you going to miss that, man? You're one of the best players in the league. Are you serious? What I was going to say was I actually think Atlanta is the better team here in FC24. Maybe a better seed, but it doesn't mean your ratings in the game are higher. Oh, yeah, that scores. All right, Atlanta up in front with that first save, and they score again. Winner takes on the Red Bull next round. Orlando scores. Here it is. Hernandez was once a Columbus crew player. He misses. Oh, my God. We're all tied. Pereira saved again oh this one's crazy this one's crazy boys another goal would we get an upset win from the sixth seed here comes torres oh my god so close from busan all rosetto has to do is make this and atlanta's through and they are we're about to get a six seed versus an eight seed in the semi-finals and haney mukhtar will have gone from nashville to orlando now to atlanta and now only four teams remain seattle sounders versus houston dynamo and Atlanta United versus New York Red Bull. It's time for the Western Conference Final. All right, we got the two seed Seattle Sounders versus the four seed Houston Dynamo. I think Seattle is about to win this one with ease, but uh, let's find out, shall we? We started with how many teams did we start with? 16. Now we're down to four. First shot is safe. This final is going to be great. It's a final, right? It's not the final of the whole video, but it's the final of the Western Conference League, right? So this is a massive match. You can win your league. Jordan Morris scores. Oh, wait. Houston. No, Seattle missed the first. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if Houston wins this? Rui Diaz is up next. Wait, Houston is about to make the final. Hector Herrera and the Mexican send Houston to MLS Cup final. He can. The Houston Dynamo. Yo, 
What is going on right now? One final steal for Houston. They're going to get Carlos Vela for the final match. We have a Western Conference winner. Let's get an Eastern Conference winner. It's going to be the sixth seed Atlanta United against the eighth seed New York Red Bull. This is actually going to be crazy if New York Red Bull win as an eight seed. Starting off with Thiago Almada for Atlanta United, who bleh, that is Amada. Wait, yeah, it's Amada. What am I saying? Yeah, guys, dag. Let's go. Here is Haney Mukhtar. I feel like he's missed every pen this uh, episode, but he scores that one. All right, New York Red Bull. They are, oh my God, going to score barely over Brad Guzan. There we go. It's the dude's name who I can't pronounce. <laughs> what, what is that? Come on, man. The goalkeeping. We got Barlow against Guzan scores. Another game of who will miss first. Cucho Hernandez. Oh my God. How was that not saved? We got Lucho Acosta, FC Cincinnati, man. Of course he's going to score. He's the best player in MLS. Saba for Atlanta scores. Red Bull has to score this. It is Luquinas. In the sudden death, man. I love a good sudden death penalty shootout. We've got so many this video. Goal. Fernandez up for New York Red Bull. Save! And Atlanta United have won the Eastern Conference and are going to MLS Cup Final. We now have two teams remaining. Atlanta United are going to steal Lucio Acosta. And the stage is now set for MLS Cup Final. Will it be the four seed Houston Dynamo or the six seed? Seed Atlanta United. And here it is. Who you guys got? Who you have in MLS Cup final? I gotta go Atlanta. They got Lucho Acosta. Let's uh let's find out. It's all come down to this. Houston versus Atlanta in Brad Gusan. The beautiful bald man makes the save. Tiago Amada. Say Oh, what a start. Carlos Vela. Say Oh my god, the goalkeepers came ready to play in the final. Haney Mukhtar scores on the Polito. Or Houston. And it's scored again. Okay. Right now, it is. Who is it who has the advantage? That's the second goal. It's Atlanta. They are up two to one. And we have Arango. Or Houston. Arango, the scores. It's all up to Atlanta United right now. It's their game to lose. And the keepers just made a save and we're all tied up. This is amazing. Herrera scores. Of course, there's drama in the final, right? Like, how, how would it there be with all we've gone through in this video? Saba. That's it. Why have you gone for the Paneka? It is Houston who have won the MLS Cup of penalties. And let's watch Houston raise this trophy high. It is Hector Herrera. There you have it. Houston are champions. If you guys enjoyed this video, click to watch the World Cup of penalties. Subscribe. And we'll see you boys for the next one.